you're watching Auto Dumont and we visit Greece. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like our videos. In that episode, you'll see our departure from Montreal, our arrival in Greece, our visit of the Corinthian Canal, of the old city of Corinth, and our arrival in Tolo, where we will stay two days. Because of COVID, it is mask that we took again the road of the travels. This trip in Greece and in the Balkans start with a direct flight about 10 hours in direction of Athens. Surprising, there were still many travelers in our flight. Our arrival at the airport went well. We quickly took our luggage in direction of the car rental company for the first days of this trip. First stop of that new series, the current canal. A first attempt to build this canal is attributed to the Emperor Nero in 67, but his successor will have quickly abandoned the project. So where we are, Mesa? We're uh, presently at the canal of Corinth, and uh, we're just looking. It's really impressive. It's really deep. It has been constructed at the, in the 19th century. So it's over a hundred years old. It is the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869 that gave the idea to the Greek government to start the works, which began on March 29, 18. 82. The canal was opened in 1893. It is 6.3 kilometer long and 25 meter wide. The wall reached up to 63 meter high. Although large tonnage boats no longer pass through it, some cruise ships still use the canal, and today you can even make bungee there. It is a must stop if you plan to visit Peloponnese soon. After visiting the canal, we stopped for a few minutes in the modern city of Corinth. The city of 30,000 inhabitants has nothing to do with the ancient city, but the view on the Gulf of Corinth is magnificent. Second stop of the day, the ancient site of Corinth. 
It is one of the best preserved antique cities in Greece and owes its fame to the two epistles that Paul will have written for the citizen of this city in the first century of our era. However, the city dates back to the Bronze Age and the Mycenaean period. On several occasions during the Peloponnese War, the city will have been close to Sparta and was its ally against Athens. After being destroyed and rebuilt by the Romans, the ancient city of Corinth suffered numerous earthquakes and invasion by the Avars, Slavs and Normans. However, it is during the Greek War of Independence that the city was destroyed, but it is due to another earthquake that the modern city was relocated 3 kilometers from this site. Last stop, a quick visit to the fortress of Acrocorinth, an ancient citadel that has the remains of its many occupants, including the Romans, the Byzantine, Franks, Venetian, and Ottomans. If you have a few minutes, the view of the Gulf of Corinth is spectacular from that mountain. We end our day by going to the small seaside village of Tolo. Located in the Gulf of Naflio, it is a very quiet place where we decided to spend two nights. The place has several excellent restaurants, but for this first evening, we decided to go to the restaurant Chez Gilles, operated by Gilles and Maria Trotoro since 1985. Honestly, the meal was just fantastic. Thank 
thanks for watching that first episode of Auto du Monde in Greece. In the next episode, we'll visit the antique city of Mycenae and the theater of Epidaurus.